up everyone it is your girl gel beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna get into five brands that dupe themselves now mind you i don't have five brands here i literally have like two brands but y'all know ColourPop is the king and queen of duping themselves and one of these dupes i honestly don't remember if i put in this video before or not so my apologies if it is but one of them i feel like for sure has been in here I'm just not 100% sure on it. I was too lazy to go watch the video. So we're just going to take this as it is. You know, and go about our day. So I recently bought the um, holiday, um, what was it, the, the holiday collection they had of the five pan palettes. Where you had to buy the whole set. It's called If You Like. And I noticed that I felt like they just made darker versions of the, um, what do you call it? Um, the Halt Heat Collection. I believe that's what it's called. See what I'm saying? Like, this to me is just a deeper version of this palette. But let me open them so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, this is the bright, corally, orangish, reddish version of it. And I feel like this is like its deeper tone sister. So I feel like if it's rose in the palette, it's like you have the lighter row and the deeper row. You kind of like Lynn Bunny did with those with her palette. To me, this is like the lighter version of this set. And then when fall and winter came for the holidays, they just made the deeper version of this set. Even now to the way they laid them out the pants, like, look at it. They just look identical. It's like Colourpop Girl. And I'm not really a fan of this color story, but I do like the deeper color version better, which made me end up keeping it. Plus, y'all know since ColourPop does this a lot, I make these videos a lot, so I wanted to um, have it on hand. And I'm glad I did, because I was going to, remember I was going to get rid of um, some of these. So I got my new Lilac You a lot in um, the mail, along with my um, Ooh La La in the mail. And then I noticed that they had similarities to other palettes already in my collection from ColourPop, of course. But, this wouldn't be a five brands that do themselves if you know ColourPop wasn't involved. Um, but yeah, so see, like, I feel like this new Millenniums one and the Lie Like You A Lot look really similar. They just got the extra row at the bottom with these. But I feel like if I put this down here, like, see how similar this looks? I feel like they just look really similar to the point where it's like I don't need both. I will probably keep both though because it's like this one would be good to travel with and it's kind of flinty so if it breaks I wouldn't be as mad as I would be if this broke. Plus since this one's cheaper than this one but I just want you all to see like they'll get duping themselves again. Look at that. It's almost identical so instead of them using lighter purples they just use lighter pinks and purples but it still gives the same color story and kind of premise if you will of brand so that's just the second set of color pop ones we have. We have two more left because you know they just love to do them though. So next we have the, now I know this palette had went on sale during the holidays for like two bucks, which I was like shocked about because I'm like, I actually really like the palette and it was one of my favorites out of the set, but you know. And then we got my original Ooh La La so you'll get to um, see how it looks all together. So see what I'm saying? Like I feel like these look really similar too because again, cover this up, what do you think? It's like they just deleted the deeper colored <laughs> row in this palette and you get the same palette. I think this one's 10 and this one's what, like 12 or something like that. But it's like you get the same palette over again. They just added three more shades. So instead of getting five, you get nine. So I'm sorry, you get four more shades with this one as opposed to buying this one. But I feel like they look pretty similar in tone. Now the like goldish um, dual chromish pink shade, I don't think is in here. Or this one shifts harder than the one in the palette. But either way, it's like they look close enough so it's like ColourPop Girl. Now, I done showed y'all like two palettes just like that. And then I like the lighter, deeper tone of each palette. And then this one is the same exception. Like, um, they just did a deeper version of the palette. What's more? So, to me, this is like the quad version of it with a um, dual chrome versus the not quad the um version without the dual chrome of it so this one just gives you a shade to dust over and this one gives you a dual chrome and doesn't give you a shade to dust over but to me again these look really similar so i'm like color pop girl what's going on and here we are like clowns buying it all uh, let me phrase it here i am like a clown buying it all so i mean i can't say too much but the formula in all of them is different and i feel like that's what like they catch us on like different formulas are um and different things each time so it's like, hmm, well, wonder what the formula's like I'm that one compared to this one. And I feel like that's how we get caught up. Or at least that's how I be getting caught up with buying and stuff. Because I'm like, I hear formulas on this are better than this. And I feel like some formulas on things are better than the other formulas on things. Like the new purple palette that just came out with the amethyst one. I didn't feel like that one was as good. Or, of course, one is as good as the, um, what, limoncello palettes was like. But they all in the same packaging. Or they all in each different packaging. And different formulas are going to different things. So that's why I end up a lot of times being sucked in by ColourPop. Because I'm like, I wonder if it's going to be the same formula as this. Or if it's going to be, you know, 
anyway the last palettes i have to talk to are from unearthly cosmetics so if you have the what is it fall magic palette up against the fairy frolic palette i feel like these are similar now i'm not trying to say they're exact but i feel like they're similar enough in tone to where you would need like both and i might put this in a main chick side chick like if you like more neutrals in your palette that are um more lighter neutrals and i feel like you'd like the um magic one more than you would like the fairy frolic because as you can see you have a little more nicer neutrals in this um fall magic than you do in fairy frolic but i believe the fall magic was limited edition and fairy frolic is permanent so i just want you all to see the difference in them or the lack thereof because i feel like they're pretty close in tone you see you got that same green you got the same brown you got that same like purplish type shifting shade and some of the same neutrals. The only difference in here, I think, is the mustard and the gold in this one as opposed to in this one. But I feel like they're so close in tone, so it's like if you have one, you don't necessarily need both. Now, I'm fine with having both. The makeup addict in me is fine having both, but it's like if you couldn't get your hands on the fall magic, I wanted you to see how close the fairy frolic is to it so that you can still get that one and you can still make somewhat similar tones and maybe just like use your bronze and your crease for that um, lighter shade if you are a lighter and you already have the darker shade in this um fairy frolic palette so those are the five brands that do themselves and really it's just two but you know five sounds catchy and that's what we started off with so that's what we'll continue on with now they might not always be um five different brands but it'll always be five different sets of palettes that i'm showing that you know the brands do themselves with so that was all I had for y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. Let me know if you thought these were like similar enough to where I should have put them in here or not. Because I feel like with the ColourPop ones, they were definitely similar, girl. I mean, when I set it up there, you saw what time it was. You saw what time it was. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.